These guys are leading people to take nonviolent, peaceful action by protesting the big AI companies, and a group of them drove 1,800 miles to do it. Tell me about the collection of humans that had the courage and will to stand out there in front of OpenAI. A number of people came out, and uh, I want to say a number, I mean, <laughs> literally uh, a handful, but, um, but uh, they're good people, okay? People who see the problem. I would try to, um, to make a personal contact with them as they came through the gate and, and uh, looked them in the eye. And uh, even though they would try to avoid and, and dodge, and they, they had another system where they'd come through all at once in a bunch. They'd all bunch up and then come through so they wouldn't have to face us individually. What? Not that we were violent or anything. Wow. So you're lit the protest is literally like near the front door of OpenAI? Yes. And have to yeah, we were right there the just building. a few feet away from the gate of their operating headquarters. No sign, by the way. and No sign, but uh, it, it, it is. Uh, so, um, so it was good to talk to them. A lot of people didn't care. Uh, they they uh, they totally didn't care. We we have no choice but somebody has to step up, and some people have to step up and tell the, the governments, legislate, regulate, have these companies slow down immediately, and as we say, put a pause to it. We want there to be a pause. We want the governments to look at it in a particular way to say we need to research it and not allow these these multi-billion dollar companies to take over and make the money that is what essentially that they're looking to make at the cost of humanity.